to do a quick walkthrough of how to explode text, text objects, 3D text objects, um, with the Mass Effects um, dynamic system. Now, unfortunately, for 2012, um, the Mass Effects system only does rigid bodies. Um, doesn't do cloth or soft bodies and also does not do forces, space warps and bombs and such things. But that's coming in later releases. But for now, what we're going to have to do, we're going to go ahead and use Mass FX um, rigid bodies, um, very similar to what I did in the other video, which is the, um, the setup's almost the same up to a point where you um, set up the rigid bodies and we'll do a quick, quick, quick walk through of that. But then we're going to use a plugin, um, which is called here it is, which is bought, called Kaboom Mass Effects. Here you can see it here, and um, it's basically lets you do a bomb. And you can I'll give you this link, and it has a video that you can watch it. It's got a few quirks, but it works pretty good for a free plugin. So we're going to be using that. And the way you install that is you simply just uh, well, the way you run it, copy it to your 3D Studio Max 2012 scripts folder. You can see here, right? And you can see I've copied it there. And then um, when you're ready to run it, when you go to Max Script Run, it's going to be there. But we're not ready to run it yet. Um, so first, I'm going to set up the Mass FX um, dynamic system. So we know that we need this plane here is going to be the ground plane. So what we can do is uh, set that up as a, now once again, actually, you don't actually have to do this because it has a uh, button here, use ground plane, um, which I think I'll untick this for now and see if it actually uh, does anything. But I'm going to try to see if I set this up as a uh, static rigid body. I'm going to say yes. And then uh, mesh, mesh object, I really don't need that. Um, what I do need to do though is pick a preset it's going to be concrete and uh, that's pretty much it, it for that um, and then I'm going to actually pre-fracture my text here like before and I think I've already made a copy of that let me double check oh I did make a copy so I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of that just in case I'm gonna clone that um, once again, I'm doing this uh, so I can keep the original. Um, also, I can swap it out with uh, visibility tracks if I need to, if, and then swap out the um, swap out the objects with visibility tracks. So anyway, I'm just going to call that one uh, the original, and I'm going to go ahead and hide that. So now I have my um, max text here, and I will need now to pre-fracture this. And I'm going to turn on um, highlights, actually. That's not what I want to do. Turn on edge phases so we can see how it looks when I fracture it now. And once again, this is a, a max text object with a bevel, with a be small bevel on it, uh, bevel, mod bevel modifier. And um, OK, so now let's take a look at fracturing this, which I've done already in another video. But I need to run through it again, run script. And it's going to be the fracture Voronoi. I guess that's how you Voronoi. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to open that up now. I'm going to do something slightly different in this one. I'm going to I'm going to fracture it, the whole object, and then I'm going to fracture the area around the bombs, uh, so it gives me smaller chunks uh, closer to the explosion, and bigger chunks on the outside. So I need to pick my object, and here it is. So I picked it. Uh, first, I'm going to fracture it into like 50 pieces, and uh, I'm going to tell it to basically uh, keep it a uniform color and use the volume cell centers and um, do number point. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, once again, uh, you should actually apply any materials to this before you fracture it, which makes sense because easier to apply materials to. Uh, one main main object and a bunch of smaller smaller pieces. So I'm going to break this up. I think that's pretty much it. Break this break this up. It's going to be working working. Let my twin Zeons do their work. 
and you can see here in the in the in the front viewport uh, sorry you can see here that it's broken that up into individual smaller pieces now I know I'm going to put my bomb pretty much here uh, at the top of the A so I'm going to start breaking those these pieces up into smaller now the way you have to do this is you need to select each one of these chunks and you can see max text part part um, 40 and um, that is selected and I'm going to break that up into a smaller let's see into about 10 chunks okay and I'm going to give this a different color just so I can visually uh, see the difference also if I want to do a, a selection later on and give these slightly different uh, dynamic properties it'd be much easier to select uh, the areas by color so that's pretty much it break it up into 10 cells or 10 chunks I should say select it break up into 10 and it's done that I'm going to do a couple more so you can see how that works and then I'm probably going to open up a file which I have already prepared with that has this uh, area around here broken up because um, it's pretty much doing the same thing over and over uh, I have that selected keep this give it a different color Keep it the same as the last small 10 chunk piece and go ahead and break it up and there you go and uh, now okay I'm just gonna go keep working give it a different color well, I gotta make sure that I pick that because it's very easy to think you're picking it in the viewport you don't want to pick it in the viewport because it doesn't work you have to pick it through the little dialog here Ten pieces, break it up. Um, yep, yeah, break it up. There we go. And um, of course, it's going to be radiated out to this other area too. So I do a couple of these. See, uh, you got to be careful that you don't do that because that's not going to help you. You need to pick it with the viewport. I mean, with the dialog. Pick it in the viewport. It's not what you want to do. It won't work. Um, uniform, break it up. And uh, okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Break this one up. Make sure I picked it. And ten. Give it a darker color. Okay. And break it up. And okay, I'm gonna go ahead and load the file uh, that I already have prepared with this. Hold on. Let me pause. Okay. So I'm back. Now notice that I have some smaller chunks in these areas where I think where I'm going to put the bomb. And notice what happened. Um, I have a little bit of a, a problem here. It got, uh, I think it had something to do with me selecting it wrong. And I have this little bit of a rendering problem. But that's easy to fix. I can just go to the edible, edible mesh of that. Uh, go down and select all those. And that has, just has to do with... Um, the smoothing groups getting confused and just do auto smooth and that will fix that smoothing group right up so if you if you happen to do that notice some of these uh, are, are acting kind of strange well you know it is a free plugin so can't really uh, complain just easy to fix that with smoothing groups now I'm going to render this just so you see you don't even see those cracks so um, but, but once again if I really needed to animate this whole thing um, I could you know select all these um, add those to a, you know, link those to a, uh, to a dummy object, do the same thing with the one piece of text, animate the dummy object, and then, of course, when I need to swap them out, I could swap them out um, right before the simulation takes place. But, okay, so, um, what's next? Now that I have these uh, fractured, I can go ahead and uh, select these, make sure I only have those objects selected, not the plane easy to select, easy to check by hitting the H key. You can see I have all my little pieces broken up. Selection selected. Um, now, I need to actually um, assign these as a uh, um, dynamic rigid body. Okay. Now, I need to fix the um, collision groups or the collision uh, settings. Notice that it's giving me these very simplified conf convex ones and the only way I could do that I could uh, since it's a group 
Um, you can see here I could go to each one and fix their settings here, but um, that would take forever. So select all those as a group, go to the settings dialog box here, go to edit, and it's a dynamic with your body, which is what I want. Um, I need to start this in, in sleep mode so they don't crumble right away. I can pick a preset, once again, which is going to be concrete, and uh, set the mesh type to original. And that's going to give me nice tight uh, collision groups, collision, um, yeah, collision area, I should say. And I think um, that's it. Um, actually, you know, one, one tip, if you want to slow it down, you can always play with the gravity. Um, this is built at real, real world, world scale. Um, so, um, but if I actually wanted to make it look larger or even smaller, I can play with the gravity a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to leave that. Um, so those are broken up, and they are part of the dynamics group. Now the f next thing is, I think, it's just putting my mom in and running the simulation. And for this, I'm going to maximize, uh, well, I'm not going to maximize yet. Um, so now I need to run my, uh, oh, actually run my script, max script, run, run scripts. Here it is, kaboom, open that up. Now, first thing I need to do is select, the, uh, make a selection set of, actual dynamic pieces and say that's going to be in my uh, in my uh, simulation and now I need to actually um, notice that it made when I did that it made this little gizmo I can select that easily by hitting here in case I don't know where it goes I need to move that's my bomb I need to basically move it to where I want it to be the center of explosion. And I'm going to move that here. And just you know, double check in my viewports. Um, yeah, I can be maybe behind, you know. And I can say, I can change the range with my gizmo, with my dialog box. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I notice that sometimes if it's like below like if I did it here, some of these chunks um, get kind of stuck in the air. So, um, and I don't know if you can, I played around with the settings and sometimes I'm able to fix that, sometimes not. So I'm just going to put it slightly above and you'll see that you'll be able to, um, I'm going to change this to my camera view to see exactly what my camera is looking at. And um, so now, basically I have it in p position. I can play around with this. Uh, this position and you'll see how easy it is to do that once I'm going to maximize the, the viewport here let me move my kaboom um, over to the side and um, yeah so uh, I'm going to put my bomb power around about four I played around with this all for a while so I kind of know what things I like I'm going to put a little bit of random spin on there any random power I can put a little bit of random power if I want to um, and at this point, you actually run the simulation, everything from here. This is going to activate my, uh, my sim tools up here. But um, with this um, plugin, I guess if you can call it, um, it's very easy to do that. And I want to start the uh, explosion at frame 25. And I'm going to give myself a little bit more room here down at the bottom. I'm going to go to around about 300 so I don't, everything can settle down. And, stop moving by that time. So then all, basically all you need to do now is we just say kaboom. And boom, you will see what see what happened. Kaboom. Page. And there we go. And if we don't like that, um, you can see how it you know starts crumbling a little bit. And we can actually just stop that sim. And it will just replay it. Okay? And at this point, um, it's already baked in. Uh, so if I want to reset it, it's very easy just to reset that. Basically, I just uh, stop the animation playing down here, go back to zero, just say reset animation. And I, if I want to change some of these settings now, if, if I play it now, I reset that so they're all reset. No keys. Give myself a little bit more. Let's just say if I uh, increase the size of this bomb, so it starts affecting a little bit. If I want, I can go to my orthographic views. And just to see where it's at, you know, um, could have it a little bit behind, so they kind of come out towards us a little bit. 
and uh, uh, let's see how it looks now and maybe yeah let's see what happens and then see, see if that looks any better oh, hmm, not bad I kind of like that kind of the X gets a little bit cracked um, so yeah I mean you can play around with this all, all day but you kind of what, what I've noticed is you don't want to do this you don't want to go down here and uh, mess with this time slider here um, you see it kind of gets the simulation kind of gets confused because you're playing with the two different uh, systems you see that so if you happen to go down here by accident and just hit these uh, playback controls just go ahead and hit reset and, um, and then you really need to stop the sim hit the stop sim before you go back go down into your controls so let's say control let me say kaboom start it over and uh, yeah that looks kind of cool um, you can see how the last little bit crumbles and that's uh, it and then if I like that then I just hit stop sim and I have it in my simulation um, kind of like that but let me do one more and maybe see what happens if I bring down the power of this let's reset that hit kaboom Yeah, you can, I can, so it's kind of fun. You can play around with this uh, all day. And just show you what happens if we move this down. And uh, reset that. Let's see if that's going to, what's going to happen here. Oh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's still working. So yeah, that's, that's basically a little bit of scrumbling there. Yeah, just make sure you give yourself enough time for those little, those little, I mean, for those last bricks to uh, fall down. And, oh, I see what I did. I hit the uh, controls down here. So I want to hit the stop sim before I do that. And I messed up my simulation. So just reset that, replay it, or re-simulate it. Boom. And let it go all the way out. Wait for frame a uh, little bit sliding there and now I'm going to stop that sim and now it's actually ready to go so um, let's say that I like that and it's kind of cool that it, uh, it it cracks but it doesn't actually move away looks like it wants to slide away there look at that so that's actually not such a nice simulation but let's say that I kind of want to just keep that now um, you know it's kind of like concrete that has the rebarb that are holding it holding it together so um, at that point um, I can close this if I click one of these uh, notice that it has keys it's already baked in and um, then I can just render that out so that's basically how you work with the with the kaboom um, and you can you know reset that as many times as you want um, yeah that's it